Hey guys, Zen Boro here, and I'm here with another Godzilla movie, Terror Mecha Godzilla, a sequel to Godzilla versus, well, Mecha Godzilla. But there's not a lot I want to say about this, other than maybe the the creature designs, because well, I grew up on these old school Godzilla films and I always thought Mecha Godzilla was the coolest thing I ever saw until I saw like the Megazord in Power Rangers and then the anime called Zoids came out in America that was also pretty cool if you haven't seen that I highly recommend it it's like people piloting these what would you call them, like, mecha animals? It's pretty cool. So that's... Mecha Godzilla was the first kaiju robot creature that I basically fell in love with, and I remember I would try to draw it, and uh, my drawing skills weren't that great. <laughs> the other monster, Titanosaurus, was pretty interesting. I... I didn't care too much for him, but now that I watched it recently, it's, I don't know, I thought he was, he had a pretty cool design. He had this, this tail that turns into a fan, and then he just moves left and right and creates dust storms, like I mentioned in my review for this movie. And it's just kind of fun seeing Godzilla fighting two monsters and he gets beat and then he comes back and he's just you know Godzilla kicking butt. The human storyline is also pretty interesting there's kind of a tragic love affair and I as a kid I didn't really understand it but now that I watched it again I was like oh this is pretty cool pretty odd but somehow it works out which is something I've always liked about uh, things like Japanese films or Japanese anime they're willing to experiment with these these old tropes but spin them in a new way and in a way that makes it interesting and funny and entertaining so I think that's all I really want to say about this movie. It's funny in some parts, it's serious in others. This is the last Showa era Godzilla film, which th those are the, the line of films after the original Gojira came out. They're becoming more low budget and uh, even a little ridiculous. So this was the last one. Godzilla went into hibernation and then um, he came back in Godzilla 1985 as it's known in America. That's when they rebooted into the more serious Godzillas. But this one is serious because Oshiro Honda, the man, the director of the original Gojira, he directed this film and it clearly shows his style while still maintaining an air of uh, lightheartedness in a way, but it's balanced by this type of serious, somber tone, which uh, I thought was pretty cool. So yeah, Terror of Mechagodzilla. If you like giant monster battles and you have not seen this, check it out. I highly recommend it. And that's it. I'll see you guys at the next review, and see you later at the movies.